This is Pat with Cajun Sunshine Crafts and welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for dropping in and if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, you will be notified when I upload new videos. Today I have a watercoloring piece that I will be doing. It is a watercoloring of a cat. It was my son's cat and well I'll tell you the story about the cat while I'm doing the watercoloring. Um, I've decided to film this portion of the video outside because it is a beautiful day here in Louisiana. It is about 67 degrees and the sun is out and the birds are chirping and the buds are budding and it's smelling spring it smells wonderful the jasmine and and everything else so stick with me i've already sketched out the cat so it won't take as long but uh, i'll turn the camera down so you could see my work and i will see you in a bit thank you Hello, and here we are in my studio, um, and we are going to paint this kitty cat in watercolor. First of all, I'm going to explain all of the products that I'm using, and uh, so I can go on to the story and tell you guys uh, what's what happened and what's going on. I'm going to be using my Sennelier paint, the 36 pan set those right here and to outline the, the and sketch out the kitty cat I use the Faber-Castell um, Albedore watercolor pencils and I may be using some more of these I'm not sure as time goes on I may uh, or I may not I have an assortment of watercolor brushes uh, three different size cat tongues and a uh, Raphael number six and a Da Vinci Zero um, that I'm going to be using for those. And I also have a, Nep a Neptune. I'll probably be using this for the background. It's a half inch um, cat uh, cat's tongue. I have my watercolor palette that I'm going to be using that I picked up at uh, coals for very cheap in the kitchen section and I just use it as a palette because it's white porcelain and it's, it works perfect and my two water containers one for clean water and one to wash off your dirty brushes um, and you need a second a second container of clean water so you don't contaminate your paints when you go back into paint to get it another color of your paint um, the two containers that um, the water is in I purchased at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece so goodbye also have my jelly beans and I am ready to go now I'm not used to painting watercoloring wildlife so this is going to be an adventure for both of us um, now let's get started I want to get started by softening up some of the edges on the cat to see if I could get what I'm looking for the the these are the these are the two pictures that I use to get um, the port the sketch of the cat that I um, I'm going to draw and these are the only two pictures I had to go by so um, we'll see how this goes now I'm gonna um, paint as I talk along I want to start to let you know um, how this came about um, this past Sunday we were supposed to be having my son's and his fiance, which is this beautiful lady here, um, they were supposed to be having their baby shower because they are due to have a baby on April the 23rd. 
Well, um, while preparing for the baby shower, they forgot something at home and the, and the dad had to go back home to pick it up. Well, when the dad got home, um, the house was on fire. Um, the fire trucks were already there. The neighbors had called the fire trucks. Um, and he, the dad, in turn, um, contacted his wife and everybody that was at the shower to let them know what was going on. Well, the, the problem was, is that they had animals in the house, which was one of this cutie that we're painting here. His name was Sylvester. Well, Sylvester was one of the ones that did not make it in the house. We had five, or, or they had five cats, um, five dogs that perished in the fire, and two cats, and a hamster named uh, uh, Captain. This little guy's name was Sylvester, and they called him Vester for short. And um, Vester didn't make it. He he was one of the cats that didn't make it. My son, this was his cat. He he took it very 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 hard. He cradled the cat as he was would have been cradling a baby, and he cried like I had never seen him, like like I haven't seen him cry in a very 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 long time. He was so attached to this cat, and those who of you who have pets of your own knows what animals mean as you hear mine barking in the background right now they um they are part of your family they they become part of your family you love them just as though they were your kids um sylvester was a character he, he is it was like he tried to make you smile um as much as he could whenever he could he was a character and he also loved to sleep just like a bunch of cats love to sleep I'm using a neutral tint right now um, I've never painted anything with um, white fur I've hardly ever painted any fur period so I want to I don't want I, I know it's white, but white is never just white. White is always, I mean, it's never just white in a, any kind of painting like this. I mean, you always, you're gonna have shadows and you have to somehow try to convey those shadows. Like, this was supposed to be white. Oh. This is the new Arches paper, um, Arches, the new um, Arteza paper, and um, probably won't be able to get that line out of there now, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I wanted to try to soften these up a little bit to not have such harsh edges and I may have to use another brush for that. Let me try this uh, number six. It's a cat number six cat tongue. Um, see if that works. I can zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Try to get these harsh edges out of there. That's the thing with watercolor. You can't just put it down and leave it. You have to work it before it dries too much into the paper or it's there for good. Unless you put a little bit more. But I don't want to put too much gray in here because he was white right there. He had a white leg but I don't want that hard line. 
Okay, so this paper seems to be pretty, pretty good. It's it's uh. See, I'm gonna have a little shadow down the leg on this side. I don't want any harsh lines on that, so I want it to be a little loose. I'm trying to get those harsh lines off of there. Okay, let's see where else they have white. The ears are going to be pink, but they are going to have little shadows in the ears. Sorry about that, guys. I'll just put a little shadow in the ears. Um, you want to make this face feel round, as round as can be, but... And this is white. This is going to stay white right here. I'm going to leave this white section white. And that's going to count as our shadow I mean our highlight our oh, shadow listen to me our highlight my son has such a huge heart when he loves someone or something he loves with his whole heart and he poor baby he was hurting he was hurting so bad and there's nothing worse than a mother seeing their child hurt and not be able to do anything about it. And Miss, the lady that owned the house, that was the mother of the the five dogs that we had to bury. Um, she was beyond. There are no words to explain how she felt. I I I can't imagine how she felt. I I lost my husband. I know what loss is. But to lose your belongings, because they lost everything that was in the house, pretty much everything that was in the house. There were some stuff that was salvageable, but most of the stuff in the house was lost. Um, so to lose your animals like that, um, it was hard. It was very hard. Their uh, insurance, the insurance that they have, which is all state, make sure I'm in frame, has been very, very, very good, very helpful uh, getting them set up. They are in a hotel right now, but they will have a rent house that um, all state, with the help of the local police department. Um, is going to help pay for, which is fantastic because um, it, 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 it's amazing how everybody seems to come together in a time of need, in a time of crisis, because the, the fire department, the fire department, the firemen that came out to the fire went in and out of that house to try to save those animals like they were trying to save hu human lives. They were fantastic. They um, let them, they had a refrigerator that was outside that they had food items in. The firemen let them take that refrigerator and bring it to their fire station and plug it in so they wouldn't lose the food and stuff that was in the in the um, refrigerator. Um, and I'm just lightening up. Let's see. He, I know for a fact he had some lighter, like his underbelly and stuff was lighter. I'm going to paint, I'm going to be, let's see, 
um, and I'm not a, a buy. I, I haven't been painting watercolors for very long, so I'm not going to be mixing paint. This is the black that I'm using on his nose is just a black ivory black from Sennelier and what made Sylvester's nose unique was I'm gonna try to get this to zoom in is it you could see that little pink curve he had on his nose he had just a little tip of pink on his nose so I'm gonna be leaving that in trying to leave that in and I could have masked it off with some uh, masking fluid but I think it'll be good and I'll have to let this dry and then just drop some pink in there after um, okay now we can go ahead I'm gonna try to get a larger brush here and I'm gonna put in if I can take a sip of my orange juice. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put in some more highlights where I think might be before we go far going with the straight black because he was a tuxedo. So we're going to put in some and this is around Da Vinci in size zero. And I just want to try to get a little feel of fluff down here. And later on, I'm going to be using, I want to do that straw method where you put the paint down and blow it with a straw to try to get right now I just want to kind of drop some or it's not going to be all quite all black but majority of it's going to be black and I may have to speed some of this up because I know some people like to see the whole process but some people don't they like to have it sped up so We'll see how long the video is, and if it's too long, we'll have to speed it up. Um, I think what a part of I think a part of what made my son the way he is, and I love him the way he is. Don't get me wrong; this it, it, it's not a flaw. It is, and it's not. It's it's a good thing and a bad thing because he has he does have such a huge huge heart and he does love with his whole heart but that could sometimes be bad in a way and sometimes not um i lost my husband he was 43 years old and Rustin that changed him and it it changed him not in a bad way it made him realize that we are here for just a visit we are not here and we are not here forever and any one of us can go at any time we, we're we're on borrowed time we're here on borrowed time um and I think it made him realize that even more with this, um, with this happening. We were supposed to be, and to top it off, he was supposed to be staying home. He was going to stay home while we went and decorate the hall for the baby shower. And he was going to meet us thereafter. Um... Thankfully, he decided to change his mind at the last time. At the, I mean, at the last minute, because if he would not have, he would have been in the, uh, in the house when it caught on fire. The um, the fire chief 
investigator um, did um, the fire did start in the kitchen it was uh, the stove behind the wall had a short and it it that's what made the house that's what started the house fire. It was a short in the wall behind the stove. They don't they they're they don't know why the breaker didn't trip. Um, they're not sure at this point why the breaker didn't trip. And um I don't guess they'll ever know why it didn't. But um had he been home had he stayed home, um, I'm not sure if he'd still be with us today. Or if, because it was a Sunday, and they're all still all usually sleeping on Sundays. They usually sleep in on Sunday mornings. And I'm trying to get these eyes right, because if the eyes are not right, then the, the whole thing is messed up. And I tend to want to overdo it. So, I'm going to just let that dry like that for now. Uh, I don't want to put too much into it because if I do, it won't, it won't turn out right. Okay, now I think we can go in with the black with the rest of the, on the rest of the cat. Um, and for that, I will be using my round Zero Da Vinci mop. There you go, that one. Um, and I will be using Ivory Black from Sennelier. They did have fire alarms in the house and they did go off. The whole neighborhood heard the fire alarms, the smoke alarms. Um, this is a reminder, if you have smoke alarms, check your batteries. If you don't have smoke alarms, please, 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 please go out and get some smoke alarms because the mom had left the house 15 minutes before the dad got back there. She had just left the house 15 minutes before. And by the time he got there, the house was engulfed in flames. That's how fast stuff happens. That's how fast it happens. And if you're sleeping, you will not have time to get out of that house. So if you don't have smoke alarms, please go out and buy some smoke alarms and check your batteries and if you do have them please check your batteries um, because it can save your life it can save your life I can't stress that enough I was married to um, a fireman I had never experienced what I experienced that day I had never been to an official, I had, I had never been on to a fire at all. And to be there and not be able to do anything and just watch as they try to save, the firemen try to save this house was, it was so surreal. It was surreal as only, I mean, it was, it, everything was gone so fast, but it felt like everything was gone in slow motion. And um, some of the baby items were uh, lost. Some of the baby items were able to be salvaged, like um, a bassinet. And I was able to take home and wash the smoke burnt soot smell out of it um 
the dry cleaners would not take it because it was uh, because it was uh, in a in a because it was burnt. It was in a in a fire. They wouldn't take it because it was. Um, I had never heard of that before, but they. And I don't know if it was because the top of the bassinet had some metal rods in it to hold the. Um, the bassinet part of it uh, tight so it can hold up the canopy and um, so maybe they didn't want to take the chance with the metal um, but I put it in my washing machine on low and it uh, worked like a charm a lot of the clothes, the baby clothes, um, we ha I had gotten some donations from some people from church and all of that clothes was still at my house, thank God. Um, so that was, that was saved. Uh, she had outfits, that baby outfits that were left at her house and uh, that I was able to wash and those were saved um, she um, let's see how I want to do this uh, okay let's just bring this black down here and just kind of Her mom had a, a, a curio cabinet, and I'm not—I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Curio, a curio cabinet, curio, curio cabinet from her great great uncle. That was handmade, um, with I don't know what kind of wood it was, but it was very precious to her. Um, it may be able to be salvaged, but uh, it will not be the same as when she got it. It will um, definitely be have to be broken up into um, to pieces. The pieces that were heavily uh, damaged that will not be able to be saved. But um, there is still enough of it there where they, they're they going to be able to take it to someone uh, professional to be able to, uh, I think she's going to make it into like a buffet. It was a big tall cabinet that um, was made of woodwork and it had um, engravings in the wood like he hand engraved in the wood. Back in those days, um, that's just something that they did. It was, it was, um, and that was lost. She had uh, several porcelain dolls in it, and the cabinet was sealed well enough to where the smoke did not get into the where the porcelain dolls were. Thank. God, she was able to save those and all of her late husband's memorabilia because she lost her husband. Also, she lost her husband when he was 37. He was electrocuted. Um, so they've been through some tough times. Um, we all have tough times, but golly gee, I mean... For those of you who know me and who's been around my channel for a while knows what I went through with with my mouth and the root canal from hell, root canal that went bad. If not, you can go back and watch on one of my videos. I have the story of what happened um, with the root canal. Uh, it, 
and um, my son uh, Rustin, the one that I'm painting this picture for, Rustin and Rustin and Amberly. If y'all want to say a couple of prayers for them, that would I would really appreciate it. They are due to have their baby on April the 23rd. I'm not sure if I said that already, but please pray that everything goes okay and. Um, Rustin suffered from depression before he met Amberly. Amberly um, came along when Rustin was at his worst, and he she pulled him out of she pulled him out of something that was way beyond. I mean, he she was um, she needed him just as much as he needed her. And she showed up just at the right time because, uh, I guess, it's just the way it was supposed to be. Um, so they were able to help each other out. People go through things in life. Um, you never, you never think that it can happen to you. You know, you never. When I lost my husband. My husband had a heart attack right here on our patio at my house here. Rustin was getting off the school bus when the ambulance was parked in the driveway. Rustin got into the ambulance with his school bag, and he insisted on coming to the hospital with us, but I did not let him. I, I had him stay here, and I'm so glad I did. I never once in my mind thought that that was the last that I would see my husband. I, I, it never once crossed my mind that he could die. Um, he was 43 years old. He he was too young to die. You know, I mean, that was not going to happen. It never even crossed my mind. And even when he, he flatlined in the ambulance, and the ambulance drivers had to shock him back to light, back, he, they, he, they shocked him and he came to, he opened his eyes and came to and I was, I held my breath the whole time. I was holding my breath. I still, at that point, I did not think that, that he would die. I didn't, never even crossed my mind. We were at the hospital and the technician came out of the room that they were working on him on and said that he had flatlined again and that they were trying to get him back. Still, at that point, I did not think that he was going to that he was going to that I wouldn't see him again, you know, and those kind of things stay with you for a very long time and um it was just hard. Good people go through hard things, but they say it's for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, and that's kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm, I guess we're just not meant to know, but it's hard. It's hard when you, um, just trying to make a living. We were on our way to the camp. We were getting ready to go to the camp. And he... He was washing his work truck. Everything was good. Normal. Happy. And that day changed my life forever. Forever. I was never the same person again. But anyway... Let's see. Look at this kitty cat. I, it's coming out so pretty. Okay, let's see. We have... I want to add some more. Let's get some more ivory black on my palette here. And I'm going to finish putting in the black portion of it. Add a little bit of other colors to make this kitty cat pop. Before I started painting, I trimmed the paper down to 8x10 so it could fit in an 8x10 frame. 
I see there's a line going across. I don't know if you can catch that on, pick that up on the camera, but there's a line going through the paper. And I, this is a brand new sheet of paper. I had never even opened it. The, I opened it to get this sheet out to be able to uh, to do this. So I don't know if it's a defect in the paper or or what it is, but it's uh definitely it's definitely uh, noticeable and i'm just going to darken this up a little bit more a little bit wispies in there and kind of make it look like fur How many cat lovers do we have? Do we have um, any? Do you have any pets? Um, comment down below and let me know what type of pets you have. We have two Australian Shepherds and one miniature Schnauzer that we love to death. They make us happy. They make us smile every day. They so silly and so goofy. It's like they try to make you smile. They try to make you laugh. People with pets know. I mean, they, they know. And they understand how people grieve that loses pets. And unfortunately, um, the neighborhood that this house was on was one of the neighborhoods that people thought that it was okay just to go and drop off animals that you did that they didn't want anymore that is why she had so many pets because people thought that they can just you know this is a subdivision that um had quite a few houses in um let me go back to the ears and make this a little darker it had quite a few houses in so people thought it was okay to just go drop off their pets and their animals that they didn't want anymore because they knew that there there were other okay you guys i'm gonna continue i'm not sure if i hope what i just videoed saved because i was not able to pull it up from my camera so hopefully it saved if not uh this is gonna be not good at all okay but anyway i lost my train of thought i don't know i don't remember what i was talking about i know i was rambling on and i looked up and it said your movie was automatically uh, start. So, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not sure if it's gonna still be there or not, but anyway, I'm gonna finish this, um, second part. And I'm just gonna continue putting in, uh, the, what I think would have been the black areas of Mr. Sylvester here. He was such a lovable cat. He really was. He and to see Russ and cradle him like a baby and just it made my heart hurt so bad. But um uh, he's in a better place than we are, I could tell you. Just give him a little eye rouse. Oh yeah, I remember now what I was saying. Pets. Do y'all have any pets? Uh, let me know what you have and what what has been the most 
a different kind of pet you had. Um, like snakes or... They lost a hamster too. I think I said that already. They did have a hamster. I helped my son bury it um, with the rest of them. And oh, I did forget to mention though the and this is I don't I don't know how I forgot to mention this is one of the best parts of the the firemen were able to save two of the the dogs. Um, one unfortunately had to be be put down because it had already had cancer and uh, complications from the smoke in its lungs with the cancer. It had lymphoma. Um, they had to put him down, but they so they have one out of the left out of the dogs that were that they had. They have one left, and his name is Petey, and he's a little Chihuahua and a mixed breed Chihuahua, and he is he he. Is he has the characteristic characteristics of a Chihuahua, and he, he barks and barks and barks and barks and barks until he sniffs you and gets to know you. I bring treats when I go see him now, so he doesn't bark at me anymore. He likes me now because he knows he's getting a treat when I come. When I'm there, in the um hotel was nice enough to let them which was a not a non-friendly uh, th they don't normally let you have pets in the hotel that they're staying in but on due to the circumstances they're letting them uh, keep the pet keep Petey there so that was a good thing also just the people that came I mean all of their neighbors and all they tried to, the neighbors are the ones that busted the doors in. They trying to get to the animals because they knew the animals were in there, but it was too late. And the two that they did, did save, the two that they were able to save were um, two that were underneath uh, a blanket. The only reason that they made it is that they were underneath a blanket. And the blanket acted as a, a filter for them to breathe. And the firefighters were found them with a thermal uh, gun, I guess you'd call it a gun. I don't know, some type of infrared something, something or another. Um, that's how they found them. And the firefighters, um, they, uh, the firefighters were were fantastic. I, 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 don't, I don't know how else to explain it. They were just fantastic. They, they wept with us, with the family. They grieved. They, they were so sorry that they couldn't save the rest of the animals. They, they truly cared. And that meant so much to um, everyone, all of the family, everyone. That meant so much because they knew um, they knew how much these pets meant to. Uh, they they could tell, and they they tried, they tried, but. Let's see. Mm. Looking pretty good. They're pretty. And all I'm doing is just putting some strokes into, some little strokes into, simulate what hair, what hair would look like. It's hard to be able to. Get down for you to be able to see. And 
you have to go with the grain, like the, the, if you've ever owned a cat or any kind of pet that is, when you paint it, all you want to do is try the, the, go with the grain, the, the, what's the word I'm trying to say? Y'all probably are screaming it out loud. You want to go with the flow of the hair. That's what I, the word I'm going to use. You want to go with the direction of what the hair is going in drawing the fur. And it gives it a more realistic look. Instead of um, just globbing in paint. And... So I'm going to be a grandma. That is so hard to believe. Oh my God, it's so hard to believe. I, I just gave birth to my own kids and now I'm going to be a grandma. We're having a little girl and her name is going to be Alex Charlie Joe. And then Alex is going to be spelled A-L-Y-X. Alex. Alex Charlie Joe. And she, Miss Alex, will be so spoiled. Oh my gosh. She will be so spoiled. On both sides of the family. And her mom, Alex's mom's mom, works for the police department. And they also helped extremely a lot through this whole situation but um yeah I'm gonna be and to top it off Rustin's birthday was the 28th of this month so this all happened the weekend before his birthday what a birthday present huh the weekend before his birthday and he was supposed to be starting a new job the same week but things don't always go according to plan you uh, you just kind of have to sort of go with the with the flow of it and just hope everything works out I don't want this to be such a harsh point right here. Our uh, Australian shepherds get they when when we, we when we told people that we were getting Australia uh, no, Australian our first one our first Australian shepherd they would. They were telling us, oh my God, you don't know what y'all getting yourselves into. They are, they are needy. They, they don't keep still. They are, they just, uh, all full of energy and you have to walk them so many times a day and they need this and they need that. And they were scaring the crap out of us because we own, uh, a tavern for those of you that do not know, or if, you, if it's your first time here, we do own a tavern, and it keeps us away a lot from home. But um, most of the time, we take them with us and just leave them in the back and in my office and stuff. And they, uh, but they are the most laid back dogs I've ever seen in my life. They are smart as freaking Einstein. They. They, I don't even, I can't even tell you. I mean, it's like they understand better than most, hu some humans, better, I mean, a lot better than some of the humans I know. They comprehend So when we got them, before we got them, we were thinking, oh my God, what did we do? We're, we're getting ourselves into something that we're going to be sorry. We, I mean, we had already put a down payment. It was too late to, to change our minds now. Um, but Lord, we went pick him up and he was just as laid back as can be. Most puppies 
to most puppies that I've had in the past, um, they they want to cling to you. They I mean they want to. Ozzy was not like that. Ozzy was standoffish. His name is his actual name is Ozzy Pawsborn, Prince of Prince of Barkness. Is his name? Well, he he was standoffish. He we he, we had to gain his trust, and after we gained his trust, he was he was okay. But before we gained his trust, he was not having it. He we he, it was like he was stuck up, and he we had to gain his trust. It's like who are you people, and why did you take me away from my mom? But after that, oh my God! Now it's like he didn't. He is my shadow. He is usually he is usually in here with me. Um, he's usually in here with me all the time. But today his his uh, dad's outside. It's a beautiful day here, so they're playing outside. Or they may be in and out. The back door's open, so they can go in and out. He's probably if I know him, he's probably sleeping. Put some different colors in here. Let's try uh this anathodome. Try a little bit blue. And tone it down a little bit with some neutral. And drop that in there. Let's see. Get that on my palette and get it a little. I mean, you you can't even see what I'm doing. Putting it in my palette, and I'm just getting some neutral color in there to kind of tone it down a little bit. And then I'm going to wash off my brush, wash it off really, really good. And then with this little area right here, and I'm going to drop some of that blue in there. Kind of let it do its thing. Let's see if I can put this down. I can't see the paints anyway, so I'm going to move those out. Put them right here. And I'm sorry if the glare from the lights are. You probably can't even see what's going on. Drop some blue in there and then mix up a little bit of deeper blue and drop that, oh excuse me, in this shadow right here. That kind of came sneaking out. And that's going to, I'm going to leave that like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to make a background also. So. a little bit darker. So let me know in the comments down below if y'all would rather me speed up these paintings or if you would rather if you want to see them real time. Or if you just want me to shut up and watch me paint, <laughs> just let me know and I will be glad to do whatever you want me to do. It's just that I wanted to tell this story because I wanted everybody to know how important it is to have your uh, smoke alarms checked if you have not done so. Um, please. It's something so simple to do to change the batteries if the batteries are low. It's something so simple to do to be able to save your family or yourself. Um, they were not home. In this case, it, it wouldn't have made a difference. I mean, it, it wouldn't have made a difference, but if they would have been home, 
it would have made a huge difference. I'm not quite let, ready to let my baby go yet. And all I'm doing is dropping some water in the ears. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Carmine that I'd, I um, made into a really, really, really pale pink. That I'm going to just drop into the ears. And let that go where it wants to go. And remember, watercolor always dries lighter than when you put it down. So it's gonna draw. It's gonna dry lighter. Um, once um, when you put it down, and the little pink. Let's see. I want to dry my brush off a little bit because I don't want the pink to go everywhere. I just want it in the and that little crack in the nose and I want it to be a little bit darker than what the ears were and my camera is zoomed down all the way so I'm gonna lift this up and see if I can hold it and paint this little and I may have to go back in and I don't want to touch the black because I don't want the black to get in there I may have to go back in and put a few coats of that pink in there and put a little bit of pink here on the side of his no nose to make it look maybe take the carmine right out of the that might make it that's gonna make it a little too red. Let's see. I'm going to fix this. Okay. And... I'm going to do a background also. Oh, I think he looks pretty good. I was limited with the pictures that I had, so I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't, um, I wanted to make sure I at least got his face right to where they could tell that it is him. And I need to do, I need to finish his eyes. And when I put his eyes in, you're going to be able to see so much better how, let's see, what brush do I want to use? Let's see, I have some more smaller brushes here. I think I'm going to use, let's see, this Escoda Zero Round to do the eyes because the eyes is it's what makes the the whole thing and I don't want to mess them up his eyes were like a, a burnt sienna color if you could see that let's just, yeah see his eyes are like a burnt sienna he was a beautiful cat okay and I'm gonna wet that first also drop some more water there let's see I'm gonna wet that also because I'm gonna drop that burnt sienna right up right in there to give it that painterly look bit room on my palette here and filled up with black paint mm. sorry and drop that in there mm. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to darken up those pupils a little bit. I might have to darken the whole thing up. There we go. Hi, right, Sylvester. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the background. I went and changed my water and got some fresh water. So what I'm going to do here is just go all over the background, closest that I can get without touching or touching just the minimal much as I can get away with. And I know what frame I'm putting it in. I'm going to put it in a frame. And I know what kind of, what frame I'm putting it in. It's kind of, I have it right here. I could show you. It's like an aqua color. And so I'm going to incorporate some of that color in here. Which is perfect because I wanted to do, I wanted to start off with the sky. And I'm going to drop some green in. In the background, like. A bit of blurry grass or something in the background. And to wet this paper, I'm using a half-inch Neptune cat's tongue. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some blue in here before this paper. Um, see, I'll use this blue right here. Mix it up a little bit and just drop some of that blue in here. Like a sky blue. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be perfect. It's supposed to be a painterly look, so we don't have to be perfect. Give that illusion of having you know, little clouds in there. Okay. Clean off my brush. Maybe put a little bit more water. Make sure it had not dried up. And come back in there with some green. Let's see what green I want. Uh, let's try this phalo green right here. Try this phalo green. Yeah, that's a pretty green. Mix in with that blue. Have that. Blend in together. 